From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. It's a big evening of evenings, LA, with huge news about your stocks, your bonds, your crypto, your economy, and of course, your fourth stimulus check update in 2022. And tonight's according for the shores of Santa Monica, California, for the incredible uh, June 4th, 2022. We will go over the breaking news as LA had been told you that the labor market is tightening. And on a weekend, Elon Musk tells us labor shortage is happening. Labor layoffs and labor freezes are hitting Tesla tonight. And I'll have the latest details on what that means for your money and what's going on. But we're not done there yet because we went into a big weekend with other data as well. Auto sales falling dramatically, housing sales falling dramatically. And then suddenly a deal on oil. But will that deal on oil, which could potentially reduce the price of gasoline at your paint at the pump, also be a trade-off for accepting human rights violations in a big perpetrating country? On the latest details on the tug and pull and this major equation. Then we turn back to the stocking statements from Jamie Dimon, which mirrored those of LA. And over the last few months, I've been saying that there is a hurricane out to sea. And that hurricane out to sea is about to come on land and the fate of the U.S. economy is going lower. All the latest details on that, what it means for your big money. But the great news is that a forced stimulus check is in every U.S. state. And over this incredible recording, we're going to go over that forced stimulus check in every U.S. state. Step one, subscribe to this channel. Step two, become a member, as hundreds are doing per day. And step three, get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Say also for step three to the later in this video, because we're going to go over all these incredible checks. Single, married, with children, without children, on benefits, not on benefits. I have all these incredible checks for you later in this recording. Then, of course, we'll turn back to the Build Back Better Act and look and see what it's doing as well. There's a lot of changing equations tonight. The Build Back Better Act and the Federal Reserve with that SS300 implications, the economy, the oil situation, and the job market. All that breaking data, all that major news for a special weekend edition, one hour evening LA broadcast starts right now. And good evening, everybody. It's a beautiful night here along the coast in Santa Monica, California. This beautiful weekend. The breaking news is that Elon Musk has now basically signaled what I had said is happening. And that comes as Jamie Dimon confirmed my reporting last week as well. We'll be looking at those situations in just a second and the downturn of the housing market, the downturn of the auto sales, what's going on with this economy, what's going on with this recession. We have a lot in tonight's recording. But the great news is that there is a forced stimulus check in every U.S. state. And in this incredible recording, we're going to go over that forced stimulus check in every U.S. state. Step one, subscribe to this channel. Step two, become a member. And step three, stay late in this recording because we're going to go over those incredible checks. You qualify. And they are upwards of $85,000 as a forced stimulus check. Huge sums of money. But tonight, we're going to go over a lot of breaking, developing details. The Build Back Better Act has the support of two factors. The midterm elections, number one. Number two, the downturn of the U.S. economy. It also has the support of Joe Manchin, because Joe Manchin says he's going to get it done. But what provisions will survive and what provisions would not survive? Remember, the Build Back Better Act would give you additional checks, would give you additional checks, fifteen to 80,000 additional checks, on top of the checks which are already in every U.S. state, which I'm going to get for you tonight in this recording. You don't have to wait for these checks. The Build Back Better Act would give you fifteen of $80,000 of additional checks on top of that. Over three clusters of checks and three add-ons. But what are the status of those checks tonight and what could survive and what may not survive during the negotiations? First, who's negotiating the provisions tonight? The negotiations are being done by two men, Chuck Schumer 
and Joe Manchin. They are longtime friends. They agree with each other on a lot of major issues. They're very blunt. He's from West Virginia. The uh, Schumer, of course, is from New York. And they like each other's bluntness and uh, willingness to get things done. They both want to do it. They want to get to that money before the midterm elections, fifty to $80,000 of checks. Let's look at the status of those individual provisions and whether they would survive. There's about $25,000 for the purchase of your first Home. Oh, my goodness. That's great. That came from the shores here of Santa Monica, California. Maxine Waters got that provision in there, which is money for the purchase of your first home given to the seller in your name at the time of escrow. That's likely to survive. Joe Manchin and his citizens of West Virginia understand that the housing market is going down very quickly. The mortgage rates are out of control, and it's very expensive to afford a new home. But the $250 billion of free home health care for seniors and people on disabilities is so dramatically needed. It is huge, but I don't believe it's going to survive. This is a provision that would involve expanding a Medicare, and that is a very, very anti-Joe Manchin provision. He does not support anything that expands Medicare. That third provision, of course, is MSC, which stands for monthly. IRS stimulus check. It's a provision that tens of thousands of viewers of this channel were told by senators in 2021 that it would be added to the Build Back Better Act. $2,000 the first month, $1,000 thereafter. For up to six months, that's $7,000 total. <laughs> that's a lot less than the four stimulus checks in every U.S. state tonight. I'm getting you $80,000 compared to these MSCs of $7,000. But would that survive as well? I think it would survive. Joe Manchin has never said he's against it at all. Now, let's go to those individual clusters. And I have an interesting twist brand new tonight about anything that implicates Medicare. So those individual clusters, what's the status of those and where would they go? Let's look at each of them one at a time. When you're looking at these individual clusters and you're looking at those add-ons, there's so much to know, but let's look at that first one. Hazard pay for my essential workers, one more year, the earned income tax credit. Would that survive? Sure it would. Then the $4,000 of elder care, yes. $4,000 of care for young children, yes. The CTC, $3,600 for the young children, one more year. Yes, that would survive. How about nutrition? Of course. $12,500 for the purchase of a new electric vehicle? Yes. So long as it doesn't implicate anything that Joe Manchin is energy efficient on. And there you go. Home repairs, also in that first cluster, first cluster would also survive. In that second cluster, we have home repairs. That's no longer in there. That is now check A in every U.S. state. I have that check for you tonight, later in this recording. Paid leave, that would not survive. That is a provision that Joe Manchin has made emphatically clear he is against. What is paid leave? It is for uh, individuals who have to stay home due to sickness or illness. He does not want that provision in there. Then when we go to that third cluster check, this is where we have brand new details tonight for this evening's broadcast. Free internet checks, yes. Now, there is currently free internet right now under third stimulus. So if you're a member, reach out to the volunteers. They'll help you get that. Farmers checks, yes. Independent contractors checks, yes. Those that survive. But what about the seniors? Now, this is where it gets really interesting, and this is breaking news tonight. The provisions in that third cluster for seniors, which are dental, vision, hearing, lowering the eligibility age of Medicare, over the last two weeks, I said, no, 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 it's not going to survive. Joe Manchin is very anti-expansion of Medicare. He says that Medicare is going to lose money and run out of money very quickly. So that was when I was recording on this channel, no less than what, earlier this last week? And then on Friday, a major report released from Janet Yellen and Treasury. Now, let's make very something very clear. This report is supposed to be released quite often. The last time it was released was in the 1980s. So this is many years in the coming. And what did the report say from Janet Yellen? Uh, read this and read my lips, Joe Manchin. Read my lips, Joe Manchin. Medicare is not running out of money and will not run out of money for nearly 75 more years. Uh, Joe Manchin will not be alive by then. <laughs> so here is what's surprising is that Joe Manchin was against the provisions which expands Medicare because he said it's, lose, it's running out of money in the next few years. Not so, says Department of Treasury. They know better than anyone else. It's their money that pays for Medicare. So could Joe Manchin pivot on this one? I think he could. I think this is getting really exciting. So we will see what's going on with that uh, Build Back Better Act. Now let's go over timing and let's go over the other situation at hand. 
timing, they want to get that money to you before you vote in the midterm elections. Well, you vote not in November, you vote three months ahead of time. So they really got to get these checks out by September, which means they got to get ready for a vote in early September. Now, this is where it gets really tight. Remember, they go off that half, the half, the second half of August, they're on vacation. The first part of August, they can get stuff done, but they have very few weeks. They have July, they can get it done in July. That's why it's getting really tight for them on a time frame. And ultimately, they need to get it done because they're going to lose the Senate, the Democrats, because Raphael Warnock is up against uh, Herschel Walker in Georgia. And they'll lose Georgia. They will lose Georgia if they do not get the stimulus out uh, before the midterm elections. They got to get out timely. Now, what is the latest detail tonight? I I'm not going to close my eyes to what I see in the news. And I certainly see it this weekend that there's a lot of crazy, wacko um, House Democrat bills being tried to get pushed before the midterm elections. Now remember, Bill Van Batter Act has already been passed by the House. The House has nothing else left to do with the Bill Van Batter Act, presuming it never gets changed. But the House Democrats, and they're trying to anchor it with the Senate Democrats, are talking about a lot of other stuff, like tech regulation, and we need to get this done. Um, none of this is going to pass. <laughs> none of this stuff is going to pass. It's just trying to grandstand. So am I worried about Bill ba ba Build Back Better Act? Act? No. Um, what also supports Build Back Better Act? Bad economic data. Bad economic data, because people give you stimulus when the data is bad. And tonight, we have another data point, which I have been reporting, which you have been seeing for several months on this channel happening. This is breaking news tonight. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come in really blunt and, and to the point on this one. I don't believe the labor numbers out there are currently up to date. I understand that when you see new jobless claims, they're one week out. I understand when you see the job creation numbers, they're one month out. But I think it's not a complete page painting of the picture. Why? Because over the last few nights, I'm going to do it right now as well. If you're in the live chat, have you seen layoffs in your big box or medium box retailers? Answer yes or no. Go in the right live chat right now. Have you seen layoffs? 100% of viewers in the last week have said, LA. Absolutely. I go in to check out at the big box retailer. There used to be three merchants at the checkout stand. Now there's none. It's just electric. Do it yourself with a scanner. And then my friends and neighbors, they're all getting laid off. Absolutely. That's what everyone's saying. And here comes the labor number. The labor numbers this released this last week was sort of a mixed bag. It didn't paint it as, as, as negative as the viewers are seeing. I'm going to go with the viewers. Why? Because you're in the stores. You see what's, first of all, you may be that employee that's laid off, number one. Number two, you may know the employee that's laid off, number two, number three. And number four, you may actually see it. You go in, it's like, wait a second, there's no employees in here. And this is what's happening tonight. I've been telling you that I believe that the labor layoffs and the labor freezes are coming. What am I talking about? As you approach closer to recession, what happens? In a recession, employers say, we are laying you off. We have too many of you. And we have a freeze. What is a labor freeze? Maybe people, many people have never seen it because they were never alive during the last time there was a recession. A hiring freeze means you go to go to apply at, let's say, City Hall. And they say, no, we have a hiring freeze. We will not be hiring any employees for, any employees for the entire year. We have already seen that language in a version, but not to the point in the last month. Walmart, when they reported those corporate earnings, said... We have too many employees on the floor. We brought too many employees back to the floor after COVID, and we're not selling the merchandise. Did they lay off people? Not yet, formally. Not yet formally. It's different, because we were saying they have been laid off in Walmart. But have they done hiring freezes? No, not yet. But here is the breaking news. I've been telling you, you will hear hiring freezes and layoffs. And while you have heard Snap, that technology company here in Los Angeles, saying it's laying off of. 5% and it's only hiring 500 more employees. And you've had a lot of companies say maybe we're laying off 5% of employees. Here is the major news tonight. There you go. LA Light and Elon. Elon Musk is basically confirming my reporting. In a series of comments this weekend, he says to his Tesla employees, I'm worried about where this economy is going. Sounds like he's watching the show. I think this economy is going to get very bad very quickly. Sounds like he's watching the show. Then he says, I'm laying off... Uh, I'm laying off some of you. Uh, you can go home and I don't need you anymore. There we go. Then, this is very interesting. He says, I need all of you back in work. 
uh, 40 hours a week. I, I don't need you at home. This is, I think, what's going to change as well. This is brand new tonight. I think that the productivity of employees has been so low in the labor market numbers in the last two months that employers are going to say, you know what, get to get into the office. I need to see you actually working. I'm worried about the productivity we, level we have of people at home. So Elon has ordered everyone into work for at least 40 hours. But here is the big number, or big words, hiring freeze. Elon Musk is the first major corporation that actually says hiring freeze. We are going to do a hiring freeze. This is what I told you was coming to this economy. And he says this all because he believes that the economy is going south very quickly. Of course, who told you that? <laughs> Who's been saying we're going to recession for two years starting next year? Since February of this year, myself. I've been telling you we're going to recession for two years starting early this year. And back in February this year, I said, you know what? There's a storm out to sea. Here is the analogy I use. There's a storm out to sea. You're on land, and you can see that wind picking up. It isn't touched on land yet. But when that storm sits on sea, it's going to be an economic tsunami. Get ready for that storm. I refer to it as hurricane, a storm, similar language across the board. This week, the quote that went viral in the financial markets was basically a rehashing of exactly those words I just said to you. The only difference was it was not said by a news broadcaster, myself. It was said by one of the most beloved heads of a financial bank, Jamie Dimon. Jamie Dimon this last week literally almost verbatim repeated my words that I've been saying on this channel since the month of February. That there's a storm out to sea, except he said it's a storm down the road. That's about to touch land and it's about to potentially cause economic destruction. He called it a hurricane. He called it a storm. And there is where we're going. The situation is very, very fluid, and the analysts that are not going to be on point are going to get smashed. There are some analysts in new reports this weekend that said, no, the economy is just really bad for the housing market, and everything else is really good. Uh, folks, <laughs> here we go. Uh, this is going to be sort of one of the new storylines for 2022. Protagonist, yeah. I think that the analysts who just want to say that the market is really good, that the industry, that the economy is really good, is going to say everything is great, but late, but the housing is horrible. No, the housing is horrible. Everything also is horrible. Everything else is going south very quickly. What did we learn this last week? We learned this last week that when you look at housing, when you look at auto, when you look at travel and leisure, which includes the airlines, they're all not pivoting correctly. What did all three of them deliver to us in news in the last few days? Let's look at auto. In the case of auto, what do the dealers do? They put less cars on the, on the floor of the dealership on purpose. Then they took the price point of the car and raised it from $2,000 to $5,000. Did the buyers come in and buy? Absolutely not. That is why auto sales are down 24%. Imagine... The car you wanted to buy last year is now five is now three thousand dollars more. When the profit level last year for the dealership was supposed to be two thousand, this year it's five thousand. And when you want to go buy the car, and maybe you want to buy it on a car loan, you can't because of the rates. The interest rates have gone so much higher. Next industry doing the same illogical pivot: housing. Housing sales are down seventeen percent, and they're going to absolutely implode. It's a bubble. Why? Multiple things a bubble. First, we have the realtors, and second, we have the builders. First, the builders. Let's do them. They have higher labor costs from the subcontractors, really sticking it to them, higher material costs. So what are the home builders doing? They are increasing the price of the home rather than cutting into their profits. They want to keep the same profit levels as last year. They really should not. But instead, they are raising the price of the home so that they can keep their same profit levels. And then you're showing up and saying, I'm not buying that home. That home's too expensive. What happened to the price of your homes? They're too expensive. And then the home buyer looks at the mortgage rates, cannot afford it, cannot afford a 5.5% mortgage rate. No one can when the mortgage rates were 2% just in February. So the housing industry doing the same mistake as auto. Who else is doing that same mistake? The airlines. We learned this last week that Delta Airlines and the other airlines were doing the same pivot. They could take less of a profit on the bottom line. Rather, they aren't. They're taking the airline fare in the United States that would have been an average of $250 last year, $220, and raise the average fare. I, I, I shouldn't even laugh, but it's ridiculous. The average fare of a domestic flight in the United States to nearly $450. I mean, really? I do not have to see Toledo that badly. 
$450, are you crazy? So what are they doing? They're in, they're taking their, their energy costs, the fuel, uh, jet fuel and their labor and sticking it to you and raising the price. Yeah, you traveled really well over Memorial Day weekend, but the analysts say this is not sustainable. This is where this economy is going to implode because not lack of pivoting. Lack of pivoting and that recession is on the horizon. That recession is out two years from now. What's important to know is that the stock market crash has already started and it's going down. The housing market crash is already underway. We'll have more about that later in this video. But the great news is that, yes, there's a force some check in every U.S. state. I found it for you. You really need it. Because despite all this bad news, which supports Build Back Better Act, the situation is going to be very bad. The time horizon on the bad news is being mirrored by both myself, Jamie Dimon, and basically Elon Musk today. 90 days out. I've been saying 90 days out since, uh, I think, early, late last month. I said basically pencil in 90 days out which is not June, which is not July, which is not August. I said early September. Pencil in ninth, early September when this economy really starts showing the looming recession. It's going to be very, very bad very, very quickly. And that is why you need to get for some of check that's in every U.S. state. Uh, viewers back in March said, L.A. Like, in March, I mean, remember how much better March was than May or June, where we are right now. Viewers said, Ali, can you go find me a forced stimulus check in, in my state? And uh, they said it because the Build Back Better Act was not getting done. And I said, let me look high and low. And I looked high and low, and I found it. How did I found a forced stimulus check? Remember, checks can be delivered to you by different organizations. One can be delivered by Congress. Well, that's out of the equation because it hasn't been done yet. Second can be done by the President of the United States, by executive order. One of the most popular expressions on this channel from the last two years, executive order. That's where I found your checks. The third one is by the states. States have leftover money per free stimulus packages, and they're obligated under the contracts to spend that money on you. They are. So those are the four stimulus checks I have in every U.S. state for you. And in the second half of this video, we're going to go over all those incredible checks. Step one, subscribe. Step two, become a member. Step three, get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And in that newsletter, which we're going over in just a second, we go over those incredible checks in your state. That membership link is under the video where it says join here, join right now. Become a Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. You can't wait. Because in 90 days from now, who knows if these checks are going to be around? In 90 days from now, we all hear the data. You hear it from me, you've heard it from Jamie Dimon, you've heard it from Elon Musk, you've heard it from financial analysts. September, yeah, here we go. The downward spiral of this economy will be very prolific by that point. Now, let me turn to another situation happening tonight, which is a major breaking news. And this is going to be a really interesting one. Deal or no deal on gas. There is a major deal happening right now on potential gas. And folks, um, uh, I, I feel like I have whiplash. Ouch, my neck. <laughs> Why? I mean, this is getting... <sighs> okay, I have a lot to say, but I'm not going to say in this video. The President of the United States, <laughs> who has four countries to choose from, has chosen uh, one of those four countries to potentially do an oil deal with. Great. So finally, since the month of October of 2020, 2021, when Janet Yellen was dispatched by Joe Biden to look and see who can, we could get oil from if those 100,000 Russian troops at the Ukrainian border do invade in 2022, she was tasked with that order last year. Did she find the backup oil? She did not. When Putin invaded Ukraine in March, I said, who, where are we going to get the backup, backup oil? At the time, I gave you the options. We had Venezuela. We had UAE, United Arab Emirates. We had OPEC Plus. We had Iran. And we had sort of a combo of the group. Of course, let me make it very clear to you. We, as the United States, do not have enough oil to battle the shortage of oil. We cannot produce enough. I don't care about Alaska Pipeline. I don't care about Texas. It's not enough. There's about 2.5 million barrels, that, or upwards of 3.5 million barrels, that have to be produced per day that are missing. We can't do it. So where were the options pursued by the White House? This is really weird. So the White House never pursued, well, I think they pursued Venezuela for like a, a, a day or three days. They reached out to Iran and almost had a deal, and the negotiations would be done by, by 
France and Germany on behalf of the United States in 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 Brussels for weeks and look right at the end of the deal. It looked beautiful. I had it on this channel for almost a month, and then suddenly the deal sort of disappeared. Then OPEC Plus in the month of April looked like they were not helping us when they decreased production of gasoline, right when we needed them to increase gasoline because there's a shortage. So what happened this last week? Last week we had a major surprise. Actually, several major surprises. Step one was the Western Allies passed that Sunday of Memorial Day weekend the deal. The deal to ban Russian oil and all the Western Allies with the exception of Slovakia, um, Hungary, and Czech Republic. This was great because now they all have to find the backup plan together. Number two, right after that deal was announced, then OPEC Plus says maybe we'll ban Russian oil. That got it really interesting. Number three, OPEC Plus, by the middle of the week, said, you know what? We're going to ramp up production of gasoline. Wow, this was insanely great news. OPEC Plus, which has the ability to supplement that missing 3.5 million barrels, of which 1 million of them was their own, would be the solution. So that we could have gasoline back down to the price levels from pre-pandemic. This looks like the solution. What did the White House do? Had the press secretary speak in the Oval Office and really give a blanketed, uh, non-thank you, bland remark. I mean, really, really inappropriate. This is what we wanted, someone to increase gasoline, and they're increasing it, and the White House did not say thank you. So at that point, that was the recording as a Thursday. Suddenly, out of nowhere on Friday, the President of the United States says, I'm going to Saudi Arabia. No, really, Joe. Really? I'm going to Saudi Arabia to rekindle our relationship with Saudi Arabia to get their oil. Uh, what? <laughs> okay, first let me do the economic part of this equation. Then let me do uh, the financial part of the equation. And then I'm going to do the human rights part of this equation. Uh, is this a great economic solution? It is. I mean, you could have done this back in October of last year. I don't understand why you wait all these months and have people endure higher prices of gasoline since the month of October. You could have gotten on the plane back in October before Putin invaded Ukraine. You could have done it in March when Putin invaded Ukraine. So why in June are you getting on the plane? Oh, yeah, you are doing other stuff. Okay, so uh, sooner than later, at least he's doing it. Does it economically make sense? Absolutely. It, they have enough oil, Saudi Arabia, to, to replace the 3.5 million barrels missing. Number two, would they do it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. They are part of OPEC Plus, so I don't know why he's going to Saudi Arabia and not OPEC Plus, because they, Saudi Arabia will not act independently of, of OPEC Plus, I don't think, because they are part of OPEC Plus. Number four. So this would solve our problem with gasoline. Hooray. This would solve our problems with gasoline at the pump. Hooray. This would solve the, the pressure on our wallet in our pocket. Hooray. What does it not hurt? What does it hurt? It hurts our soul. It hurts our soul. I mean, really, what's going on with this Biden administration? Venezuela is a human rights violator. That's why there's an embargo against their oil. That's why we don't have their oil. Iran is trying to increase nuclear warheads. That is, you know, not a good thing. That is why there's an embargo against their oil. That's why we don't have their oil. And Saudi Arabia, are they a walk in the park? They are not. They are a human rights violator, and that is why I have embargoes against their oil. And suddenly, out of all these countries, the White House saying, we're going to choose this human rights violator and get their oil. Uh, can you explain to me why that one? No, we're just going to sort of brush the topic of human rights under the table. These are Democrats. <laughs> These are Democrats. So I, I don't, you know, if I knew the understanding of what he's doing, I'd like to report it. But I don't understand how he can brush all the human rights violations of Saudi Arabia, which is why we don't have their oil right now uh, under the table. And then suddenly we say, you know what, who cares about your human rights? Just give me some darn oil. Could have done that with Venezuela back in October. Could have done that with Brazil. I forgot Brazil. Brazil is a major export of oil. They're also a human rights violator, and that's why we are embarking their oil. Uh, you know, we're not doing the Russian oil because they're invading some country. So, which of these, you know, which of these human rights violators are the best to choose from? Yeah, uh, none of this makes sense. None of this, from a human rights standpoint, makes sense economically. If OPEC Plus agrees to it. We have a deal. We have a deal. And finally, uh, someone in the White House has said, you know what, get a deal somewhere because everyone is going to implode. But I got to tell you, uh, I, I can't believe it's coming from Democrats that really try to keep the moral compass at issue. Making a deal with Saudi Arabian oil. 
Okay, uh, so let's go back to your fourth stimulus check of 2022. Uh, there is no moral compass on this one except there's money, so grab it. <laughs> there's money, so grab it. In the second half of this video, we're going to go over how we got here. Let me go back over um, these incredible checks. And in the second half of this video, I'm going to get you the checks. It starts back in March when viewers of this channel said, you know what, um, we got a bear market going on. The stock market's imploding. Uh, the Congress is not getting us any money yet. Can you give me a force stimulus check? So I looked high and low, and I found a force stimulus check for viewers of this channel, and that is the check. The check is in every U.S. state. I should plural that. It's not check. It's checks. And I gave them a lettering system, check A, check B, and check C. That force stimulus check is in every U.S. state. You can get it, single individual. Go get it. Married couple, go get it. If you're on benefits, go get it. It's coming up in the second half of this video. Step one, subscribe. Step two, become a member. And in the second half, we're going to go over all those incredible checks. We got a big second half of tonight's recording. Plus, we'll be going over the latest details on student loan debt forgiveness and Jay Powell and his wonderful comedy hour. Comedy the hour. We have all that and more about where the economy is going, the recessionary down pressure, the inflation market, the housing market, rental, and labor. All that data coming up in the second half of this video. But first, become a member, and I'll see you back in 60 seconds as we go over those big four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. See you back as Evening's Ally continues. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook Twitter and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LLA at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LLA. And the excitement continues right now on a big second half of the evening to LA for June 4th, 2022. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, how are you? Thank you for joining me and hope during the commercial break you became a member. In the second half, we're going to go over these four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. You deserve them and you qualify for them. We're going to go over them. Step one, subscribe to this channel. Go right in this video where it hits where it says subscribe. You want to become a subscriber to this channel because you don't want to miss any video. Step two, become a member. The link under the video where it says join here, join the channel, do it right now. Become part of the hundreds of people that are joining it daily. And if you look at the front of this channel, it now features pictures of your faces. Yes. So if you have a face in as part of your emoji for your name when you when you become a member, then it will actually feature you in the front of the channel and congratulate you for becoming a new member. Then get that incredible news on Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alert system. Go over all these incredible checks starting right now and let's go over a recap of them starting first when these checks became law in march and as soon as they became law within less than 12 hours they were on this channel in the videos and in the newsletter number two you yes you qualify as a wonderful longtime viewer cat said you do eligibility really well it's supported due to eligibility who qualifies you do single married with children without children on benefits not on benefits rent or own you qualify go get it number three it's done so simply for you you watch the video you get the newsletter you go down the newsletter you click the button and you go get it i make it as simple as i can for you as carol says you make it very easy for the viewer and what happened back in the month of march viewer said can you find us checks and i found them 
executive order checks, checks from states, and I gave them lettering. A, B, C. As I found another one, again, another letter. Could we have an E? We could have an E as well. That's why you want to be a member and stay a member. Let's start with the first check. These are monster checks. I don't mess around. I want you to have massive checks so that you're financially independent uh, as this economy downturns. The first check is $6,500 to $12,000. It is what I call check A. Check A is astronomical. I mean, just look at how wonderful this money is. $6,500 to $12,000. And it is a wonderful, wonderful check. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get it. If you're on benefits, go get it. SSI, SSDI, Veterans Benefits. It's called the Homeowner's Weatherizing Grant Check. How do you get this $6,500 to $12,000 check A in every U.S. state? Step one, subscribe. Step two, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino, VIP. The link to become a member is under the video where it says join now. Step three, get that newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and go right down to where you find Check A. When you see Check A, click the link, and it'll send you right into the national website. Choose your state, then choose the homeowner's grant, and you're ready to rock and roll. You're done with Check A, because <laughs> then you're going to go get Check V. Yes, fifteen dollars to $80,000. Four simple check in every U.S. state. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get it. And if you're on benefits, go get it. It is so simple. How do you get this one? You know the routine. Subscribe, step one. Step two, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. Become a member of this channel. Step three, get that newsletter. And then go down on the newsletter to you find Check B. When you find Check B, click the link and go right in to apply. You'll see the nationwide map, then choose your state, then apply. So simple. All the information, all the eligibility is in the newsletter. You're not done there yet? No, 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 because you're going to go get checks of Check C. There are multiple checks in Check C, and they are a lot of money. These are what we call MSC, multiple stimulus checks or monthly stimulus checks. It's averaging $2,000 a month over 12 months currently, and it is for renters and homeowners. So go get these incredible checks. It is absolutely enormous. How do you get this check C? A little bit similar, but a little bit different than A and B. Step one is the same. You're going to subscribe and become a member. Step two is the same. You're going to open that membership newsletter. But then when you go down the newsletter, there is not a link for check C. Rather, at check C in the newsletter, it explains to you where to call. Yes, check C is done by telephone. Check C is done by telephone. You pick up the phone and call the 15 plus places. I tell you where to call, what to say, how to say it. You need to make all the different phone calls and you can rock and roll. Check C has been on this channel since December 2020. December 2020 was much like now. Maybe not as bad. <laughs> Good Lord. Uh, in December 2020, we were awaiting the negotiations of Steve Mnuchin and Nancy Pelosi to finish and wrap up for second stimulus. And guess what? It never wrapped up. And viewers said, can you find me checks? It's December 2020. It's Christmas. It's winter. It's heating oil prices. I looked and I found some money. This money. I called it purple at the time. Wasn't a lot of it. But what was I so keen on at the time? Getting you the money, but also teaching you the skill of how to get the money. Because you're getting the money. I'm teaching you how to do it. And at the time, in the middle of that month of December 2020, I had one of the most important pieces of documents I've ever had on this channel. A ex nearly exclusive document of a preview of what was to become Third Stimulus, the American Rescue Plan. I gave it the, the expression. I coined the expression United States Third Stimulus. And when that was in my hands in December, I said... It's the same thing I'm getting you now for Purple for rent and utilities and mortgage. If this becomes law, there's going to be so much more money of it, and it became law. And that is why the viewership of this channel took off, because I continue to teach you the skill. I said, now the skill we had learned in the month before when there was not a lot of money is now law with a fortune of money in third stimulus. Go get it. I think you can get about 15000 on average is what I said at the time. Well, <laughs> viewers got a lot more. They got on average 45000 Look at this money for rent. Whoa. Nisi from 20000 all the way up to Elizabeth for 27000 Look at this money for utilities. Let's look at and, and 
Mark's brother-in-law got 15,000 snap. Mark's brother-in-law got $25,000 a year over 10 years. That's a quarter million dollars. Let's look at the combos. Here's Nacy. She keeps on going back and getting more money. She is absolutely a, a darling. She listens and learns the way you win on this channel is you keep on getting money every few days. Whether it's Nisi or Margaret or Johnny or Mark, viewers listen and they keep on going back and getting money. Here's Mark. He was 32000 Mark was 32000 then. This is about a November 2021 graphic. How much is Mark now? 166000 He was not happy with 32000 He went to 166000 He went to 50000 then to 100, he then he got the check D, a uh, check, excuse me, check B at 66,000. Lorraine, she was once 105, now she's at 120. She got it like another $800 this last week. Every penny adds up. $800 is almost a thousand dollars. She keeps on adding money. So, how do you get that incredible check? See, you go right in that membership newsletter and get it. Let's recap and then let me give you some other tidbits and some of which that are brand new for today for May 4th, for June 4th. I keep on saying May 4th, June 4th. Step one subscribe there's a subscribe button on this video hit that subscribe button you can't miss a single video the videos are overlapping and this channel's going to change yeah get ready for that announcement it's coming soon this channel's going to change dramatically in the next two months you're going to be very very excited that's why you have to subscribe and stay a subscriber number two uh become a member the link is on the video join here it says purple hawk purple power calcino vip number three there's a little bell at the front of this channel hit that bell with your finger and set it to all a l l all notifications so you get all notifications you do not miss the newsletter's notification at 7 p.m pacific standard time you'll get an alert a notification via youtube that says there's a new post from la you'll get an alert that says new la post at 7 p.m pacific standard time monday through friday and it says new la post right below it it'll say la newsletter Lower on that that alert, it'll say click here. There'll be a little button in the in the alert. Click here to read the post. Click right on that button. I'm hearing a lot of people questioning where to click. Click right on that button. It's a little bit lower. You see a picture of a surfer and then go a little bit lower and click right on that button. Then that sends you right into the post, which is the newsletter. And go in and apply. Check A, check B, check C, and and, and more. Now, here is some other tidbits for you. First, if you're having problems accessing the newsletter, questions about the newsletter, send me a private message on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash LA Light News. My turnaround time is usually about four hours or less, uh, and I will send you a help-to video that explains how to open the newsletter, how to manipulate it, how to use it. Viewers say it's really helpful. Everyone who's asked for it said answered all their questions. Number two. The number one reason that I think some people in the last few days sometimes get confused on not finding the newsletter is they forget their time zone. <laughs> yeah, I've had like six of these uh, situations in this last two days. Six people in a row that forgot their time zone. The newsletter is delivered Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So the newsletter is 7 o'clock my time here in Los Angeles, which is Pacific if you don't know what your time zone is, <laughs> let me just give you a rundown. West Coast is Pacific. You're the same as me, 7 o'clock at night. If you are Mountain or Central, then you may be 8 or 9. 9 is like, you know, St. Louis, the Midwest CT, Central Standard Time. If you're the East Coast, like Georgia, New York, Florida, you're East Coast Standard Time. You're not 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. You're 10 o'clock. You're three hours later. So I have people literally looking three hours incorrectly on where the newsletter is. I hope that solves the question for you. Uh, finally, a tough love moment. I want to go over this tough love moment with you right now. It's very, very important. You know, these checks are set up by the federal government. Joe Biden, the states, they set it up the way they set it up. And you got to adapt. And you've done such a great job. As we were talking about earlier in this video, Learning the skill set to go get checked and then doing it is what's important. Along the way, 99.99% .99 of you have done such an incredible job. But there's always that 1% that thinks that they can do it in a sort of, what do you call it, uh, a, a, an easier, cheaper, simpler, or or um, more coherent, a different way. And their, their notion is, why does the federal government just send me a text message? Why does the federal government just call me on the phone? Why does the federal government just come to my door and have me fill out paperwork? 
Uh, if the federal government has check A at a website and you got to go and click it and apply, that's the way they do it. You got to adapt yourself to that situation. And so don't um, take the recording and then think there's another way to get check A. This is the way to get check A. And so don't, you know, send me a message and have me try to figure out how to modify the application process. This is the way you get check A. This is the way you get check B. This is the way you get check C. That is why viewers of this channel have learned such well and since December 2020 when I said, take the skill set and apply the skill set. And I know, I know what it was because I went through that with all my viewers. A lot of people early on were hard, were difficult on picking up the phone. They were too shy to pick up the phone in December 2020. I got them over that shyness. Now you have no problem picking up the phone. Get yourself divested from, I rather do it an easier way. This is the way that's done. Not that's hard, but don't say, I rather have it, you know. <laughs> the analogy I want to use is the following. I'm on Amazon. I love this wonderful box of oatmeal. But I don't want to I don't want to go on Amazon and input my address and my credit card. How about I just call you on the phone and mail you a check five months from now? Or how about I just give you how about you come to my door and I, and I take out a wad of cash out of my wallet while I'm sitting on the reclining chair eating my donut? That's so much easier, isn't it, Amazon? Yeah, do you think Amazon's gonna do that? No. <laughs> do you think the federal government's gonna do anything less like <laughs> No, the federal government, will they come to the door and just say, hey, you, I won't let you fill out the form while you sit in your reclining chair. You don't have to do anything. And enjoy the rest of your Seinfeld episode while you're done. No, <laughs> it's just not going to happen. Uh, so let's go back to Joe, Med Joe Biden and something that else won't well, happen, which is $50,000 of student loan debt forgiveness. Uh, yeah, now what these people with their $50,000 of student loan debt forgiveness, I, I got it. You want $50,000. The president ain't do it. Move on. Move on. I mean, I just, and Joe, move on. Both of you move on. <laughs> it's just, you know, it's just like, it's just like a relationship that has gone south and they, and they, the, the relationship cannot, a marriage that's not repairable. Not to say that they were never married, those two groups, but the president will not do $50,000 of student loan debt forgiveness. The group that wants $50,000 of student loan debt forgiveness is never going to convince Joe Biden to do 50000 So you all need to just move on. <laughs> Just move on. He wants to do 10, take the 10, and let's go on to the next subject matter. <laughs> so the takeaway on that part, this part of recording, is the president's not doing 50,000. And the longer that you don't accept the 10, you're not getting the 10. I just don't know what's going on. Let's go to SS300. SS300. Now, this is getting really interesting. Uh, Jay Powell will have that FOMC meeting in just a few days. He's going to do a half basis point increase, is my prediction. Then his two meetings after that, I believe one more half after that, and then a quarter. And then after that, I think it's just sort of, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. Leo Brainard, who is number two in control at the Federal Reserve, confirmed basically my reporting. She was asked, would there likely be three more interest rate spikes, which includes June? She said, yeah, that looks likely. Could there be more, another half? She said, yeah, that looks likely. Uh, what happens by the third? She says, I, yeah, she didn't want to answer that question. No one wants to answer because you know what's happening. The third, the 90 day horizon, that 90 day horizon, we're into September. I'm telling you, September, <laughs> get some extra hair dye, get some extra hair dye ready because by September, you're going to start seeing some grays come out because we're going to have the downturn of the U.S. economy amplified by September. Step one is the stock market crash that has already started will really pick up speed by September. Why? Because stocks are only down, quote, only down 26% year to date. And the that is what you have in a bear market. But we aren't just going to be in a bear market. In a bear market plus a recession, stocks do not just go down 26%. How far do they go down? They go down 47.8%. So we're only halfway down in our spiral, and I mean the entire market. So if you own Target stock and you're down 40%, you own Snap and you're down 40% in just one day, don't think that you're actually at the bottom. No, I'm talking about the entire financial market. The entire financial market has a long way to go down, and as it goes down, it's going to go down 48% overall, number one. Number two, the housing data is really delayed as we've been seeing over the last few months. The housing data is really delayed, and you're not going to see the real implications of the housing market crash until really almost 90 days out from February. 
Uh, and that data is then another month after that. Why? Because the mortgage rates did not surge out of control until really almost March. And then the homes that are in 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 uh, contract t have a 90-day escrow. So the housing data is going to be delayed. Number three, you're going to see recession be a less of a scary word for executives. The only difference between Jamie Dimon and L8 in the last few days is that Dimon does not want to use the word recession. In fact, most banks and most financial organizations do not want to use the word recession. Why is that the case? Well, I said recession for two years starting next year, and I said that back in February. Since then, we did not have a lot of banks say the word recession. Deutsche Bank said it um, two months after me in April, and then other places just sort of, you know, said downturn of the U.S. economy. The situation is that a lot of people do not want to use the word recession. Elon Musk, in his comments today, says he's very worried about the U.S. economy. He would not use the word recession. I got to tell you that I don't want you to get hung up on the word recession either, because the downward spiral of the U.S. economy will be felt by you whether or not we're in a recession. Recession is a very technical economic term. And that doesn't mean that your walk in the park or walk to the beach with a surfboard on top of you is going to be great until we're in a recession. Let me say it another way. Do not think that if you're not in a recession, you're great. Do not think if the recession is out a year from now that you're great. There's going to be a downward spiral in the U.S. economy. And it may not be, quote, qualified as recession yet, but you're absolutely going to see it. What are you going to see? The next 90 days, this is what you're going to see. First, you're going to see the stimulus stampede on this channel, as I've been reporting for several months. Stimulus stampede. Americans are going to lose their jobs, and then they're going to see hiring freezes, and they won't have a job opportunity. They're going to be back on the channel saying, do you have some FPUC? No, I don't. It doesn't exist anymore. PUA? No, it doesn't exist anymore. Business owners are going to start to close their doors. One thing I forgot to deliver to you on Friday was all that labor number that came in on Friday, the number one number showed that people who were going on unemployment were because their bosses closed their doors. Not because the employee was fired, but because the business went belly up. So the business owners are going to come back to this channel as they as, as you started this channel. Business owners were the, the bread and butter of this channel on day one. They're going to be asking for that EI deal grant or that EI deal loan. The answer is doesn't exist. Anything from SBA and anything for small business grants doesn't exist. And so people are going to be asking for massive stimulus. And I got these checks A, B, and C right now. It's a lot of money. Why have it 90 days from now? I don't know. Is Joe Biden going to make that swap and call it to inflation within 90 days? He got to. Are they going to get the Build Back Better Act done in the next 90 days? They got to if they're going to win the midterm elections. But you know what? We're not going to, you know, put a rest our hat on it. We're going to grab the checks that are available today. Why would we not? Step one, subscribe to this channel. Step two, become a member because I have found for you monster checks. Why would you pass up these monster checks? Yes. If you put all the checks together, it is over $100,000 just for you alone as a single individual. Go get that check A. Go get that check B. Go get that check C. Go get this big money. And yes, you can get a check D in 24 plus states. Check D is averaging $2,000 a month. And it is also in the membership newsletter. Subscribe and become a member right this minute. Do not wait. Membership link is under the video. Join right now and get that incredible newsletter. Stay with me throughout the night because the programming continues. Evenings L8 every night at 5 o'clock. Countdown at 6 o'clock. 7 o'clock is Street and Stimulus. 8 o'clock is Extra. 9 o'clock is Sunset. And then we return in the next morning with shows continue throughout the night. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, good evening, God bless, and I will see you throughout the night. Stay informed, stay focused, and stay with Ally for more.